So this is our truck full of junk. It's got all my tools in it. And you can't go anywhere without a dustpan because you're always going to make a mess. Caulk gun, do a lot of caulking, gluing stuff down. A few different saws for cutting stuff you might need to cut. Boxes of screws because you never know when you're going to need a certain screw. Extension cords, knee pads. If you're working on your knees, you need some knee pads. I, I've never gotten anything out of that first aid kit. If I get like a little cut or something, actually electrical tape works a lot better than a band-aid. Leave it on there for a couple hours, you're good to go. I'm the only one in my family that has ever gotten into a trade. My, my dad's pretty handy. He has done remodels around the house, but I'm, I'm the only one that I know of that makes a living out of it. Like 2000 is when I started actually learning how to be a carpenter. And I thought I wanted to get out of the construction business, so I was looking for another job when I got this one, which I'm back in the construction business, but it's, this isn't really like working on the outside. Not as rush, rush hurry up, production based. You got time to do the job right, get it done well. When I first started doing this, worked with a really good guy that had been doing it for a while, knew what he was doing, patient, let me kind of figure stuff out on my own, told me things if I needed to know them. I'm not above asking for help if I need help. What do you need help with there, Mitch? They're just putting in some new electrical plugs, data lines. The tin snips I will be using. I don't need any of that. taking out the ceiling grid. Later, I'll be putting some more ceiling grid back in. It's good to be noticed for what you do, but in reality, we're supposed to be like the little elves that don't ever get seen, you know? If we do our job right, nobody even knows we're here. And the work is rewarding. I like being able to walk into some place and seeing that it's one thing and then knowing that I'm gonna help turn it into something else. And then when I'm done walking away, saying, wow, that place is completely different. UHS is in the Student Services Building, the SSB Building. A mix between MDs and PAs, physician assistants, and nurse practitioners. And we have general medicine, women's health, sports medicine, urgent care. Can you come on back this way? I'm extremely detail-oriented <laughs> person. During the school year, we're very busy, very full, constantly going. Oldest child, just a caretaker. That was kind of my role in my family. Well, and I was the oldest of four kids with a divorced mom who went back to school to get her teaching degree. And so I really took care of three other kids. And yeah, that's all I've ever done. But I always liked that caring. And I always kind of knew I would be a nurse. You know, we all have our different style. I usually start. And what's your major and what you know that kind of thing and then it leads you somewhere else and then a lot of times you've finished and they don't even know i've been here for nine years and i know this is where i was supposed to be patients that come in you know that they're a student they're young they're studying at a university and it gives you so much to talk about yeah i learn things every day all the time and that's one thing i love about being at a university and so I'm always learning from other people. I learn something from everybody, <laughs> every day. People who are at a university, they're learning, they're aspiring to do all kinds of things. That's inspiring and it's energizing. It helps me not get set in my ways. Virginia Jaramillo, and I am food free. Hi, can I help you? Give me onion rings. Yes, they're right here. Have a regular burger? You want a whip or white bread? Whip. Hi, can I help you, next person, please? Thank you, sweetie. You have a good day. Thank you, take care, have a good weekend. Thank you, you too. I work in and King Solving, uh, for half a year. And the other six months, I'm working in a little field for the summer. 
I'm thinking about the student because I think a lot of students they study hard. And I think when I think about them, I say, I like my job. I make people happy. That is my part that I can help the, the students, so that's why I do it the best that I can do it. I'm a sergeant here at UTPD. I've been here for 12 years and I'm in charge of recruiting. I hire all the people that are in the building, admin, communications operators, the guards, and also the officers. I've had people apply from Alaska, California, Florida, Hawaii. I get a, a bunch from Iraq. You know, I'm getting out in six months, a year. Tell me about jobs there. My father was a chief of police for Lower Colorado River Authority and my mom's a school teacher and I don't think that they have very different jobs there. <laughs> I always knew that I wanted to, to do something in law enforcement. My husband is actually a training sergeant at DPS. We have three boys and having two police officers as parents, wow. We have such a diverse department. The fact that we reflect our community, you can't say that about most agencies. And I also think that the RAD program happens to be something that is very rewarding. We're teaching them to be self-sufficient and we're giving them overall skills that can keep them safe. A lot of our students, uh, this is the first time away from home, and we teach them not only things physically to be able to do, but also things that would just all around keep anybody safe. Walk in groups, lock your doors, you know, keep things out of sight. Don't leave your stuff and go to the bathroom when you're in the library. We have an impact. UT is one of the largest campuses in the U.S. And so you've got to think with over 52,000 students that we're, we've got so many future leaders that we're, we're protecting.